Greetings everyone. In this small tutorial I'd like to show you the testing of a network developed with Cisco Packet Tracer. Network infrastructure diagram of the first building. Network infrastructure diagram of the second building. Network infrastructure diagram of the third building. I've created a program using Blatchet C++ that performs the calculations necessary for the allocation of IP addresses. The program asks for the IP address you got from your service provider. It can be determined with the help of the fifth parameter how many stations can be connected to a subnet. The program also calculates the subnet mass, the network address, and the broadcast address for the IP address. This program is a part of the Network Technologies assignment. Let's see an example for the use of the addresses generated by the program. The next step is the testing of the connections between the buildings. First test the connection between the first and the second building. Now test the connection between the first and the third building.
finally test the connection between the second and the third building. In this particular case, I zoom into the network to show the operating principle of the switch. It can be observed as the switch broadcasts the message but it receives answer only from the recipient. Based on the scenario, the Telco Manager's room has to be installed onto a separate subnet and has to be protected by a firewall from the rest of the network. Let's try to send a message from the second building to the Telco Manager's computer. The firewall has been installed on the 1-0 port of the network. It can be seen as the port is blocking all access. Now test it whether the telco server can be accessed from the first building. The firewall is working perfectly again. Let's see what happens if I would like to send a ping through the firewall. The firewall is working perfectly again. In this part, the web server will be tested. Based on the scenario, the NI manager has no access to the web server. Let's check again the connection between the NI Manager's computer and the web server with a ping. As it can be seen, the connection is working. Let's test the web access. As you can see, the access is denied. Repeat the test from a general staff computer and from another building. For the general staff web access is not allowed either. As it can be seen, the connection is also working. And now, let's test the web access.
as you can see the access is denied. Based on the scenario, the director has access to the web server. Let's check the connection between the director's computer and the web server with a ping. As it can be seen, the connection is working. And now, let's test the web access. As you can see, the access is permitted. In this part, the FTP server will be tested. Based on the scenario, for the general start, FTP access is not allowed either. And now, let's test the FTP access. As you can see, the access is denied. Based on the scenario, the telco manager has access to the web server. Let's test the FTP access through the firewall. First of all, check the file list on the telco manager's computer. The connection is established. After entering the username and the password, the FTP service becomes available. Check the file list on the FTP server and try to copy a file to the telco manager's computer. The file transfer was successful. Now break the connection and check the file list on the telco manager's computer again. The copied file is already on the file list. And finally, let's test the email server. Let's send an email from Peter's computer to Ryan's computer. As it can be seen, Ryan has received the message. Reply to Peter.
As it can be seen, Peter has received the message. Let's send an email from Andrei's computer to Ryan's computer. As it can be seen, Ryan has received the message. And Andre has received Ryan's reply. Thank you for your attention.